going on the friends? My name is MTJ Jates and welcome back to another episode of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. As you can probably tell from the sound of my voice, I am not feeling well, but I do not have any videos uh, ready for the week, so I might as well get some videos in for the week. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. I already got that star piece, but uh, uh, for reference, if you ever need, if you have not gotten the star piece, there's a star piece right over here. Just grab hunting that spot and you'll get a star piece. But uh, anyway, um, now that we have, um, uh, now that we got our uh, our train ticket from uh, Don Pianta uh, from the last part, we can now uh, make our we can now uh, actually ride this uh, luxurious express train that we've always been. Wanting to look forward to, so let's go ahead and do this. This train is bound for the luxurious Poshly Heights. Will you be boarding today? Yes, I will. Alright. And... There it is. Watch our step. It's like taking the light rail to school. Except not really, because we're going to a luxurious place on a really expensive train. Okay, this is really cool. This is my favorite chapter in the game. Uh, this is like, this is the coolest one. And, uh, you're gonna see why in a little bit. Alright, chapter 6. Three days of excess. So, this is our room. Yeah, look at this, man. Three days of posh uh, to posh the heights. And they're gonna fly by. Hopefully. Huh? What's this? A piece of paper? What is this? Don't go to Poshly Heights. Get off the train now, or a sticky, yummy doom awaits it. What does that mean? Beldum? Maybe? I don't know. But, uh, yeah, it looks like somebody, it looks like whoever wrote it has to be on this train. Yeah, we better go find this guy before, uh, something bad happens, right? Anyway, so this is our room. Uh, if for whatever reason you need to heal up, then you can go ahead and uh, st stop by on this bed. Uh, but it looks like it looks like we can't do it right now. But we can go ahead and look inside the drawer here. We got a dried shroom. Um, but uh, yeah, pretty useless. But uh, in our in our room is a shine sprite. If you want to go ahead and take a look at that, or if you want to go ahead and grab that. You might you might as well grab everything that that, you, that, that there is to get because uh, you're not gonna be riding this train for very long. I hate to say it. So you can go ahead and explore uh, the rooms here. Uh, like uh, for example, you can go ahead and uh, go inside over here, and uh, you can go ahead and talk to these to, to this guy right here. Hey, hello there. You know I used to dream of one day getting to ride on this train, and now I finally got the ticket. The dreams do come true. Yeah, totally. Yeah, check the drawers here. There might be items in, in some of these drawers. Uh, this drawer contains uh, magazines of the chef here, the train's chef. Uh, but yeah, you can go ahead and, and but yeah, like I said, you can go ahead and explore uh, the, the place. But um, what we really want to do is go this way. There's a save point right here if you want to save your game. Um, I don't understand why there's there's a three-digit number rooms when there's really like I don't know eight or nine rooms. I think eight sounds about right. Oh, this is my favorite pat. This is my favorite person on the train here, and she's the cutest. Just FYI. Welcome, welcome. This is the dining car where you eat and stuff. Some people take this train just so they can eat our yummily fabulous food. And this trip, we have a super famous actor on board, Zip Toad. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm totally swooning. I so hope he comes here to eat soon. I just like I just like uh, the way uh, she speaks in this in this uh, in this game. Pretty cool. She also has purple hair. I I I. I like purple purple haired people. Just kidding. Um, but uh, you can go ahead and take a look at the shop here. Let's see. The shop has a thunder rage, a mystery, 
uh, boost sheets, taste of tonic, maple syrup, and a super shroom. All right, decent items for what the for a uh, luxurious train. I expected a little bit more expensive items since it is a luxurious train anyway. But uh, let's see what we got. Okay, so this is like the blue section here, where we get to see all the other where we get to see um, more rooms. We can go ahead and talk to this guy right here. Hello to you, and welcome to the to the express to the excess the excess express. Oh man, it's hard it's hard to say fast. Uh, so that's the conductor of the train. Mario of Room Five, make yourself at home. Yeah, there is a yeah there is a really suspicious person on on train on the train here. I don't uh, I don't know, but uh. I don't know, somebody, somebody in this train has got to be suspicious, right? <laughs> anyway, if you go ahead and take a look at the rooms now, uh, after talking to this guy, uh, nobody is here. Uh, for some reason. Even this guy, this guy's not here. I wonder why that is. Detective magazines. <laughs> I like that. Uh, actually, I think this room has something in it. There we go. <coughs> oh god. Um, we actually recognized those three people before. We've seen those at, uh, somewhere. Um, where? I'm not telling you. Gotta watch the Let's Play to find out. Uh oh. What the heck? What's this? I could say without the slightest hesitation that this smells like a case to me, but what shall we call it? This is this is the question before us. Yes, what to call it? Yes, the case of the pot of supper stew that vanished suddenly and mysteriously. Indeed, that will do nicely. Hmm. My dear train passengers, this is a full-fledged mystery, one that impacts you all. What? A mystery? Oh man, I, 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 was, I would emphasize that a little bit more, but I just don't have that energy right now. My voice doesn't have that energy to do that. A mystery, you just said. And a, or exactly what kind of dish is that? Wow. I am known as Pennington. You likely would not guess it, but I am a detective. Ah, this guy's a detective, okay. At the risk of immodesty, you might say I have a certain nose for these things. And the and this little conundrum, my dear fellow passengers, poses no challenge to me. The central clue of this case, and also the most vital one, as it happens, is that our prep, uh, 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 as our perpetrator uh, t took the whole pot st uh, stew and all. And this esteemed friends leads me to believe that the one responsible is you. Are you serious? Why would she, why would she be? Are you sure you're a detective? Yeah, you're totally going cuckoo here. Uh-huh, yeah. Practicing accusation skills. Yeah, I'd get pretty upset about that, alright. I'm totally- I'm totally with you there. You would not you don't- Don't accuse my favorite passenger. Well, she's not a passenger since she works here. So what we know so far is we don't know who the culprit is. This scene is for total squares. Forget forget you guys. In a bit of a hurry, huh? Yeah, you know what they say, if somebody's in a hurry, then they might be suspicious. So, I guess I'm with you there. Z 
Zip Toad the actor. Zip Toad? The Zip Toad? No! Way, Mr. Detective Person. You're just making stuff up, you Tweety Geezer. Yeah, she said Geezer, alright. This guy, I don't believe this guy's a detective. With all, with, with, uh, since he's not, he, he, since he doesn't provide the answer yet. Anyway, so you're gonna notice, uh, actually, uh, this was here before. Uh, there is actually a, a path here of uh, some mess that was uh, left by the guy who um, possibly might be the guy who stole the pot of stew. Uh, so if you go ahead and follow the path, am I actually supposed to... Really? I have to activate this? Okay, I don't... Okay, I actually tried to... I actually, I, I thought I didn't have to do that, but I guess I had to. Alright, now let's see what happens now. Yeah, there are drops of stew on the floor. Okay, this makes more sense now. All right. I don't know about that, man. There's nothing in the drawer, so no need to look. All right, so I might have spoiled something. Uh, so I'm gonna cut that out. So if you saw like a brief cut earlier, then yeah. Because apparently I didn't know you have to go outside and activate and uh, trigger the, um, examine the, uh, the drops of stew. Uh huh. It's a large photo of Chef Shimi. Chef Shimi is the cheap cheap that you just saw outside, by the way. Oh! There's something underneath the magazine. Aha! So, what do you have to say about that? So, you're saying it wasn't you, huh? So, what was that about saying that that wasn't you? Stole the entire pot while the chef was, was was chopping. How does the chef not see him? Like the chef is like is cooking near the pot, right? Isn't that how it works? So he should have definitely saw the guy. And there's no, there's no way you could miss somebody uh, a, a giant guy either. Justice has been served. May this terrible crime never occur. You know of it. Huh. Very well then. Strange guy, right? And the mess is still there. Yup, the mess is still there. Alright, what do you have to say this time? You found the bad guy? That's so totally amazing. Alright, here you go. You found the beef. <laughs> Uh, if you actually talk to him uh, for your first time, um, then uh, he says that his English isn't good, so he says some like really bizarre words sometimes. Please fake it. And uh, so our reward is star piece. So a free star piece if you want. I think that star piece is required since the guy since the guy told you to. Um, Return the pot to him. So if you want to beat this game without getting any star pieces, then that's generally that's one of the more impossible things. Unless you're using glitches, 
uh, which if you use glitches, then you you skip the entire you just skip this entire train section. Believe it or not, it's bizarre. It's so bizarre uh, how, how many how many crazy things this game has. Like it, like I honestly thought this was a well-made game, but apparently it was all the glitches that people find. Apparently not. I was proven wrong. I mean, it's the same thing with Paper Mario One as well. I didn't really do anything special. I mean, how hard is it to track down uh, a track of drops and uh, to fall to fall a path to whoever did it? Nah, that guy definitely did not look suspicious at all. He just wanted to eat. Nothing suspicious about that. I'm your assistant now? Okay, so... This is Pennington. He's a detective from Poshley Heights. I am known in some circles as the penguin with the improbably large brain. No, I've never heard, heard of you. I've heard of some guy named Harrington. I don't know if you heard of that guy. Oh God! You know what? You know what people do when they tell you not to not to say your not to tell them your name. The mustache, the nose, all too easy. You are, quite obviously, the famed Luigi. So, first we got Murphy from, oh god, the elder of, of uh, Petalburg. I already, I already forgot her, for, forgot his name. Uh, but, um, then we have the elder from, uh, Bogley Woods who called us Mardio. We have Gonzalez from Everybody in Chapter 3. We got Captain Stash from the Pirates of, of Chapter 5. And then, finally, we have Luigi. Of all the things, Luigi... The one name that doesn't even sound close to Mario. Well, Gonzalez wasn't even close to Mario either. Neither was Stash. But still, that is the most craziest thing I've ever I've ever heard. But you know what? I'll take it. I don't mind being called Luigi. 